Hello everyone, me and Team here, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a deviation from Civilization 4 this time. And I'll be doing Ogre Battle. Here we go. New game. Now, there's already two very good Let's Plays on this that have been started up. One by Pasta King, the other one by... Um, oh, I forget his name already. I'll post it in the comments. Uh, so this one's going to go in a little bit of a different direction. This is not going to be a full run. I'm not going to get everything. I am going to demonstrate a way to play that completely breaks the game. Uh, first off, you get asked a couple questions, and this will determine the alignment of your leader and, to an extent, your starting units. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Name. The me in team. You'd almost think that's my real name or something. Is it okay? Yes. Yeah, confused. No, no, just kidding. I was told that I would not make a very attractive woman, and I'm okay with that. Oh, well, I already made a mistake. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I'm going to try to pick good answers here. I want a reasonably high alignment character, although if I get the second highest alignment character I won't cry for the strategy I'm doing. It really doesn't matter. I just want him to finish with a real, relatively high alignment since I'll be using him to liberate cities. I'll explain that later. Oh, let's just lie. Also, this should take fewer total videos than the other two Let's Plays. You'll see why soon enough. Drinking is evil. I've never had any alcohol in my life, I swear. Oh... Probably to sacrifice somebody. Game will like that answer. That'd be a goody goody two shoes and get an area of effect free spell for my opinion leader, which is what your uh, main character is called, by the way. It's called an opinion leader. I don't know. Maybe it's like a poll and voting or something. I, I don't know. It's almost impossible to find. Uh... Oh, oh, right, right, uh, we're, we're lying again. <laughs> <clears throat> Continuing onward. Ah, most important thing on the path of the warrior. We'll just lie again. To be honest, I wouldn't want any of those. I would want victory. <laughs> Not forget that one. Um... Let's pick uh, number three, because I'm the third person to do this, as far as I know. Devil! Your alignment has dropped! I'll get into that, too. Okay, so this is the main screen. You can go in here, check out your units, view status. Uh, I'll work in what the stats do over time. I guess. You can also remove characters, put them off to the side, class up. It'll become relevant later, maybe, in my Let's Play. So we'll start with the only map we can play right away, the Castle of Warren. This is mostly a tutorial map just to show you how to play the game. Yep. Move to the destination, pressing A. Pressing A on your leader is also how you select him. It's going to be a little slow. There's an item down here. This will be one of the only items that uh, you'll ever see me get. Unless I happen to one, one by luck. And don't worry, for most of the game, I won't be going over water slowly like this. This is going to be a fast let's play after this uh, demo map find out. Be yak. That 
that's right, I'll just call it whatever the hell I want. Now, um, I already know this game reasonably well. I mean, not perfectly, but I've played through it twice. And basically... I know where to find the stuff that I need to find. Um, what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to go for the best ending. In order to do that, you have to pick up a lot of stuff and go out of your way. Uh, technically, with the way I'm playing, you could do that as long as you know what to look for. Because there's only a couple things that you really need to do on your first run through a map before winning the map. I'm not going to be doing that, though. Because I don't like the supposed best ending, the world card ending. No, I want to be Emperor. So, I'm going to pursue that ending. So, it should be a little different from the others, I believe. It should be fun. And yes, this takes forever. Don't worry, there's a way to speed up movement drastically in this. Yeah, basically when you liberate a city, you get to pull a tarot card. Which I will be abusing like crazy in this Let's Play viewers. And it has some, you know, ran random effect, depending on the card you pull. Well, the effect isn't random, but the card you pull is. And uh, it also allows you to play the card later, you know, offensively, while in battle. And uh, depending on your alignment, it'll also improve your, uh, or hurt your reputation. The better your alignment, the uh, more reputation you get. That's what this uh, bar on the top right of the screen is for. I'll just go through this text quickly. You can pause it if you care to read it. And uh, your reputation will affect your ending. And it'll also affect how uh, some of the other characters respond to you. <coughs> and yeah, I'm going over there because there's hidden towns. You walk over them, you see them, and then you can liberate them too. And you have to do this on this map in order to uh, progress, so I'm going to do it. You also pick up uh, your first like special character this way. I'll pull another card. Empress. I already forgot what I got. I was my first card. The Empress heals everything in your party when you play it. So it can be a nice card to have. I don't like like tons of them for the way I play, but uh, it, it's good to have some, especially when you get towards the end. Yes, yes. Play unit, press X. And we'll go ahead and liberate this, because we have to... And then we'll take on Warren. Oh, I should have checked to make sure my leader's a good guy. Oh, well. I'll find out in the next video for you guys, depending on the skill he uses. There's uh, four types of opinion leaders you can get, depending on the way you answer your questions. Um, the good one has a cold attack. Um... The second best one is kind of like a samurai. It gets three front row hits, although you're risking your leader if you put him in the front row. And uh, one of them, I think, is a thunder variant. And the final one uses uh, dark, or whatever the evil type attack is. I mean, ultimately, you can change your alignment throughout the game anyway. But I just like going the easy route, because I want to finish with high alignment and thus get a high reputation when I go liberating everything. Yeah, I'll keep all the cards for now. Eventually I won't. And I'll check out what those do in future videos. Yes, uh, actually the game tells you to do this and it is a good idea to uh, pause because it lets you do issue commands without um, using up the real time. All this is progressing in real time, which becomes more obvious when there's more units in play here. So I'll just go like this. And so for example, like while you're moving, you can pause, just press start, and issue orders while paused. Well, next time we'll take on the boss of this map on Let's Play Ogre Battle. The main team signing off.